Hello, the Hyundai Ionic Electric has class-leading aerodynamics, the same low coefficient of drag as the Tesla Model S, which is already recognized as a very aerodynamic shape, and almost as good as the Tesla Model 3, which is one of the best there is. And Hyundai calls this world-class aerodynamics. Now, these can only be a good thing, right? In a car that's got a limited battery capacity and you need every bit of efficiency you can get to get the most range. In this video, we'll look at five bad things and two good things about the Hyundai Ioniq Electric's world-class aerodynamics. So let's just quickly show the Tesla Model S has a coefficient of drag of 0.24, the Tesla Model 3 has 0.23. So the Hyundai Ionic Electric is 0.24, but it actually has a lower frontal area than either the Tesla Model 3 or the Tesla Model S, which is quite a bit larger, although still very aerodynamic. But let's start with some of the bad points about having this aerodynamic efficiency. Bad thing number one. The first bad point then is just the aerodynamic shape means the car is very low to the ground. The batteries are actually underneath the rear seats and underneath the boot or trunk floor. So that means that the seating position I find very low indeed. So as opposed to the kind of nice promotional videos where you see people easily and happily getting in and out of the car, my typical experience of getting in and out of Arionic is rather like this. <coughs> 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 For anybody with any kind of mobility limitation, it's really quite challenging. People sometimes need accompaniment getting in and out of the car, I find. Bad thing number two. So the second bad point then is far more subjective, and it's just the looks of the car. Now, I actually tried to kind of recreate the wedge-type shape I've seen in online videos by just filming around the car, and I can't see it, actually. Um, sometimes I think you have to see it from a distance or in, you know, the particular kinds of um, press release footage and things people have shown of the car or doing reviews. Um, it's a subjective thing. I mean, the car does have a kind of slightly unbalanced wedge shape from some angles. It's, it's not the worst thing in the world, but it is something that's definitely there because of the particular aerodynamics that the Ionic has got. Bad thing number three. You may think that because of the very smooth and slippery aerodynamics of the Ionic, there would be practically no kind of wind noise when traveling at high speed. I don't find that to be the case. It could be because money's been saved kind of elsewhere in the cabin on, you know, sort of sound deadening, insulation, thickness of the glass, weight saving, cost saving. Um, but I find it's still quite noisy at motorway speeds, as we can hear here. Bjorn Nieland, who's been doing kind of systematic comparisons of different cars with a decibel meter, has shown that the Ionic is one of the worst in class, actually, for interior cabin noise. Bad thing number four. I don't find any problems with restricted headroom, either in the front or in the back of our Ionic Electric. But there is the issue because the battery is underneath the boot or the trunk of the car as well, and you've got this kind of very smooth, fast back shape, there is very little height left in the overall boot area just generally. Bad thing number five. And then a fifth and final bad thing is what you can see over my shoulder here, which is the kind of slightly strange split rear windscreen. Um, this isn't so bad in some respects, but, you know, it definitely does affect visibility. It means there's no rear wiper as well. It means some dust and dirt clogs up um, under the, the lower part of the screen. I do find it has a nice side effect of when you look in the rearview mirror at night, it tends to um, obscure the headlights of cars behind you that otherwise could dazzle you. Um, the Ionic has an auto-dimming mirror anyway, so I'm not sure how much it would do that. Good thing, number one. Now, the first good thing about the aerodynamics is obviously the amazing efficiency, the remarkable efficiency that you get in the Ionic Electric. And, you know, I've seen 8.2 miles per kilowatt hour, which is really quite, you know, remarkable efficiency. I consistently get um, at or above 6 miles per kilowatt hour in summer conditions. There aren't that many other electric cars that can match that kind of efficiency. And that matters when you've got 28 kilowatt hours of usable capacity in the battery to get the most range you can from the overall sort of compromise of sort of cost and battery size and so on for this particular car. Good thing number two. The second good thing then is far more subjective and this is just the kind of appreciation I have of the kind of mindfulness or good engineering or good design of the people who engineered and designed the Ionic Electric. I notice it most when I'm stood up by the driver's door actually and look back and see just how kind of raked the whole rear of the car is, the design of it and how smooth uh, that particular shape is. I notice it when I'm parked by cars that have got you know much more kind of brick-like um, harsh kind of fronted shapes. And I notice it whenever looking at the air curtains over the front wheels as well, which you can kind of see here and demonstrated a bit better in the kind of official Hyundai videos. So with five bad things I've listed and only two good things, does that mean that the world-class aerodynamics of the Ionic are a bad thing overall? Well, no, I don't think so, really, because I wouldn't weight them all equally. I think actually the efficiency is absolutely the crucial priority for a car like this, and I'm willing to accept the other kind of negatives of having that particular aerodynamics. 
But please do let me know your thoughts on the aerodynamics of the Ionic. What's your stance? What are the good points and the bad points from your point of view? So I hope you've enjoyed this short video. Please subscribe if you'd like to. And bye for now.